camera, action. This ain't no Marvel movie, but he's got superhero hops like Gerald Green. He captained his own high school super team in California. Even the Kardashians had to come watch him play. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. He was named after the greatest boxer of all time. But he doesn't need the gloves to punch it on a fast break. Yeah, you're gonna wanna keep that camera rolling. My East Coast squad gonna get mad, but the sun-drenched courts of LA have produced the NBA's best guards, like Russell Westbrook, James Harden, and Kawhi Leonard. Now this one just might be next. I almost broke a rim here too, because I used to dunk in like sixth grade over here, so it's crazy. How does a kid go from throwing down viral dunks in eighth grade to taking center stage at Duke and punching his ticket to the NBA draft? Is this Hollywood kid ready to shine brighter than all those who paved the way before him? Grab your popcorn, settle in, because I'm going to tell you about the most athletic player in the rookie class. Cassius Stanley is a born star. Cassius Jerome Stanley was born August 18, 1999 in Los Angeles, California to Jerome Stanley and Tanya Sedwick. In a city filled with celebs, Cassius and his family felt right at home. His dad, Jerome, found his way in working security for Shaq Diesel in his prime. Pops then went on to become a big time agent for close to 30 years, representing all stars like Baron Davis, Chad Johnson, and Keyshawn Johnson along the way. His mom, Tanya, was a track and field star at UCLA and an alternate on the US Olympic team. It's safe to say that Cassius' crazy bounce and speed came right from his mama. In addition to hoops, Cassius also grew up playing baseball as a pitcher. Coming up in LA, surrounded by the culture of sports, young Cassius regularly found himself not just sharing a gym with pro athletes, but training with them too. Cassius was training for baseball with a pitching coach at USC one day in early middle school when he looked next to him and one of the athletes joining the workout was Tom Brady. Early age exposure to greats like TB12 has helped Cassius rise to be the cream of the crop. Cassius was always one of those kids who was a step ahead athletically and it showed early. The first time he dunked was before middle school? First time I dunked was fifth grade. Summer going to sixth. Bruh. What the f Naturally, our guy gained a reputation on the court as the bounciest kid around. That was enough for him to hang up the baseball glove and stick to the hardwood. By eighth grade, Cassius was pulling off NBA dunk contest slams that even D. Wade would give a 10 out of 10. In June 2015, Cassius would throw down a dunk that would change his life forever. These jaw-dropping dunks straight broke the internet and made the top 10 of sports channels nationwide. Stanley said people were calling him left and right to tell him he was on TV, but he didn't even get to see for himself until he got home hours later. Overnight, he went from the athletic kid from down the block to being called the highest jumping eighth grader in the world. Everyone wanted to know how a 14 year old was out here skying like prime Michael Jordan. It was all up from there. Cash picked up his first two offers from USC and UCLA before even attending a high school class. People don't know this, but despite spending his middle school years at Sierra Canyon, Cassius started off high school hooping on the other side of the hills at Harvard Westlake. The Wolverines had fallen short in the CIF Southern Section quarterfinals for four straight years, and many questioned Cassius's decision not to stay on at SC. The truth was, two of Cassius's uncles were alumni of the school, and he wanted to play in Coach Rabibo's run and gun style. The system worked for him. Cassius and Cole brought home a state championship in his first season. Our guy went off too, establishing himself as one of the best freshmen in the country and throwing down dunks like these night after night. His ninth grade year highlights got millions of views and some were claiming him to be the best athlete in high school as just a freshman. 
He brought all that hype with him that summer when he linked with Cal Supreme and former number one NBA draft pick DeAndre Ayton on the Nike EYBL circuit. As you could have guessed, our boy stayed flying and frying all summer long. After starting his high school career off with a ring and taking Cali hoops by storm, Cassius was out to prove that he was more than just a dunker. Coach Rabibo said Cassius could be the best defender in the state if he wanted to be. He kept his foot on the gas for year two, improving his passing ability and outside shooting. And you know his power and finish at the rim kept getting stronger. Hard work pays off too. Cassius was ranked in the top 10 of his class following his sophomore season. After asserting himself in years one and two, Cassius knew it was time to seek out the best competition this country had to offer. He was very grateful for his time at Harvard Westlake and everything he learned from Coach Rabibo, but after talking it over with his parents, they decided it was best for Cassius to transfer back to Sierra Canyon. Bordering Calabasas, California, Sierra Canyon is known for their powerhouse basketball program and being a school that celebrities send their kids to. Dr. Dre, Will Smith, the Kardashians, just a few parent names you might recognize. Sierra Hoops was already legit. Marvin Bagley had just graduated and the team was stacked with sons of former NBA players. But Cassius wasn't transferring to SC without his guy, the high-flying KJ Martin. Yeah, the son of that Kenyon Martin. Professional posterizer and NBA bad boy who spent 15 years doing his thing in the A. Cassius and KJ made them the most athletic team in the country. But together, Sierra Canyon formed a super team like we hadn't seen since the Ball Brothers at Chino Hills. Overtime was so hyped, we had to do two overtime challenges with this squad. Scotty and KJ? KJ and Scotty. OT challenge? Mm-hmm. If there was any doubts before, moments like these prove Cassius was made for the spotlight. The camera just calls his name. Yo, what up? It's Cassius from Overtime. Bro, that's my line. Yeah, it's my episode, though. with bringing so many high school stars together on the same team is getting the players to share the spotlight. Coach Andre Chevalier had to get all the guys to buy in. Cassius described Coach Andre as extremely good at managing talent and that under his leadership, Sierra Canyon became a tight unit. They spent all day hanging out off the court as well. Sierra Canyon was a movie that year, for real. They went on to take that state title with ease with a 27-4 record under Coach Andre. The Trailblazers were must-see TV all year long and finished the season ranked number 12 in the U.S. by Max Preps. They lost Dwayne Washington, who moved on to Ohio State, but picked up freshman phenom Amari Bailey and 7'3 Harold U for Cassius' senior season. With the talent they were bringing back, NBA legends in the stands. Plus a real shot at dethroning Montbird and IMG for a number one national ranking? Sierra Canyon was the Chicago Bulls of high school hoops, ready to lace them up for one last dance. That summer before senior year, Cassius joined Russell Westbrook's Team Why Not in the EYBL circuit. It was a fitting combo. Cassius modeled his playing style off the Brody, and they had actually gotten close over the years. Imagine joining your favorite player's AAU team and having him coach the squad and take you under his wing. I mean, that's a dream come true for any young player. 
he went toe to toe with other future draft picks like Nico Mannion all summer long. Cassius was going crazy on the rim and splashing from three at the EYBL's Peach Jam Final. When he wasn't getting buckets that summer, he chopped it up with Larry and the guys off the court. To cap his final summer on the circuit, Cassius took on some pros playing in the infamous Drew League in LA. Even with the sky high expectations, Sierra Canyon and Cassius did not disappoint in his senior season. Mr. Stanley tallied 18 points, 6 boards, and 3 assists per game, and won Player of the Year in the CIF Open Division. That Sierra Super Team accomplished everything they set out to do that year, going 32-3, winning another state title, and finishing the year ranked number one in the nation by Max Preps. You would have thought SC's home gym was an NBA arena, with how often celebs were pulling up to the games. Even Kanye and the Kardashians stopped in to watch Cassius and his squad put in work. With high school ball officially over and Cassius going out as a champ, he only had one more decision to make. Where would he play in college? He starred in Overtime's first commitment video and shocked the world when he committed to Coach K and Duke over Kansas, Oregon, and UCLA. I'll be joining the Brotherhood. Go Duke. A couple weeks before making his decision, Cassius got some advice from Kobe himself that steered him towards Duke. Every Hooper knows when the Mamba speaks, you listen. Besides, he only wanted the best for Cassius. I mean, who wouldn't want to play for Coach K in a legendary program like Duke? Cassius hadn't even completed preseason training down in Durham when he opened the eyes of the college basketball world with his leaping ability. If you want to know how real our guy's hops are, he broke Zion's vertical jump record with a 46-inch max vert in his first days at Duke. A 6'6 guard that jumps higher than Zion? It was about to get spooky down in Cameron Indoor. The stage was set, but would Cassius be ready for that ACC competition? And that Tobacco Road matchup versus UNC? The biggest rivalry in all of basketball? Cash led Duke to a 25-6 record and a season sweep against the North Carolina Tar Heels. His breakout game came on the road when he dropped 24, 11, and 3 against the top 15 Louisville squad. Don't forget about when my boy set the camera crazies off with this unreal alley-oop. Unfortunately, Cassius' freshman season was cut short due to the global coronavirus pandemic, just as the Blue Devils were poised to make a big tournament run. In just one season at Duke, he earned ACC All-Freshman honors averaging 12 points per game, five boards, and shooting 36% from three-point range. He come a long way from being just some middle schooler who could dunk. After his first season, Cassius felt like he was ready to make his dreams come true and declared for the NBA draft. Now, Cassius is the newest member of the Indiana Pacers. Dreams do come true. He been waiting for this moment his whole life and the league had been waiting on him since he first replicated Vince Carter's elbow dunk at 14. Can Cassius follow in the footsteps of his big homie Russ and be the next high-flying, jaw-dropping point guard the league needs? Will he be able to hurdle the haters and hop in his bag to bring your favorite team a championship? The next big star to come out of LA is ready for his close-up. NBA Bigs better hope he's not dunking in your face. It's been your favorite storyteller, OT Cambo. Let me put down this mic so I can watch some more overtime. Later. OT is everywhere, fam. I'm talking worldwide. So rep your city with the OT City Tees. You see I'm holding down New York. Yeah, you know that's right. And don't forget to subscribe over here and check out more fire videos over here. You know what it is. It's Big O.